joining me for a look at the papers is author and diversity consultant Vernal Scott. Thank you very much indeed for coming on Good today, morning. Vernal. Uh, let's start uh, with the first one uh, today from Greece, of course, the Kathy Marini, the, uh, one of the national newspapers out mm. there. Uh, domestic backing for Prime Minister's last gasp effort at deal there. So it's talking about Mr Tsipras' uh, attempts to woo the uh, internal parties within Greece. Do you think he has much support for what's set to go ahead with these talks? Well, I think he's been given an emphatic victory, really, hasn't he, mm. at, 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 at support from his people. Um, but it's quite worrying, I think. You know, um, we all have budgets that we need to manage. And, uh, and I think that the crisis um, that's going on for Greece is something that the rest of Europe shouldn't just be um, attacking them, if you like, about. It's a, it's, it's a family. You know, and I think that we're all in this together. And given that you know Germany is doing so well, and the UK say you know that we're doing so well, you'd have thought some of those skills would be shared. You know, you know, with Greece. You mm -hmm. know, and so that because you know, what we don't want is a situation where where people in Greece are um, using soup kitchens and and where unemployment is 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 rife as it already is. Mm. Um, this is a united Europe, and I think that we need to be much more, um, I think, carrot than stick with, with Greece. Mm. However, that said, you know, if you're going to be a leader, you've got to do more than smile, you know, which the, you know, the Greek leader seems to do very well. Sure. He needs to also manage effectively and d do what Europe is asking and have a plan. None of us would take out a loan without you know showing how we're going to repay it and actually show integrity by by repaying it so mm -hmm. you know got to get the balance right but we are all in this together and we need to move forward together mm -hmm. without as i as i could see in, in some of the press Russia waiting to get in the... In the yeah, well, we'll touch on that in a second. Yes. But um, let's move on to the Wall Street Journal now. Um, the main picture on the front page there, it's, it's on a, quite a lot of the front pages around the world, but it's Angela Merkel, uh, the German Premier, of course, uh, talking with uh, President Francois Hollande of France. Uh, that, was mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, that was yesterday in Paris when they're talking about Greece, of course, there. So, uh, I mean, it looks like what's, what's happening here is there's a bit of a uh, kind of disagreement between leaders of the Eurozone countries about what to do with Greece. Merkel wants to take a harder line with them, saying they don't mm -hmm. want to write off their debts, but Hollande is mm. showing a bit more sympathy to their plight. Mm. So not only is the, the internal divisions within Greece about this yes or no to austerity, but mm. what to do with them now in, in these future talks ahead today, mm. it's, it's across the Eurozone territories as well, isn't it? It is, you know, but I, I think, you know, Gavin, that it's... Uh, Merkel is, is right, and she's the leader who I have a great deal of respect for. Yeah. I think everybody does. She's very measured, she's very... I think very honest, um, and she's trying to say that the, the Greek government has a responsibility to do the right thing. I, at the very least, come up with a plan to present to the rest of Europe that says we are taking responsibility for how, how you know, the state of play, and that we are going to do something about it in this time scale, in this way. That's our proposal. Help us get this right. So she's quite right to have a, um, a, a, a harder hand in this. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the balance is right with the French uh, leader also saying, well, actually, let's be a bit more friendly. Um, between them, I think there's a message um, that says we have to move forward. Let's keep Greece as part of Europe. And, but also let's try and let them know that, you know, you've got to be a bit more responsible than you've been. And you, you say about Angela Merkel and how sort of measured and controlled she is in mm. her dealings. I mean, it's the, the newspaper here says that this could be arguably her biggest challenge yet dealing with this crisis because she's seen as the sort of the strong woman of, of Europe, the, the most influential leader, leader, influential leader within the Eurozone country. Yes. So this, yeah. this could really sort of make or break her legacy in a sense, couldn't it? Yes, and, you know, and what's fantastic about her... Um, as well is the fact that she's a woman. And, I mean, I, I, I just think that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in a world dominated by male leaders, mm -hmm. here is a leader who has got um, a, a vision mm -hmm. not just of her own country, mm -hmm. but of Europe and the wider world, and who is able to, to contribute in a way that's constructive. Yeah. So I greatly admire her, and I, and I hope that the, you know, the Greek government listens to her and works with her, because mm -hmm. she means well.
Let's move off uh, Greece for the time being, Vernal, and talk about uh, this day, uh, the newspaper from Nigeria. Mm. Uh, Joss Massacre there, perpetrators yes. not respected of God, says Atiku. So this is the uh, former vice president talking about the explosions in, in Joss. So yes. what do we make about this story? Well, you know, the, the headline grabs me because, um, you know, religion is, is something that's very important to a lot of people. Um, and, you know, for all the good that it does, um, there are people who use it um, to perpetrate great evils and terror in the world. You know, today in the UK, we are uh, remembering events of 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And only two weeks ago, we had the event in, in Tunisia. So here we are um, in Africa, in Nigeria, dealing with the ongoing um, scourge, mm -hmm. really, that's presented to, to that country. And, you know, in a world where, as I said, where, where, where religion is so important, you do ask yourself, well, where is God when bombs are going off and where, where people, where, where death cells and lone wolf assassins are, are committing these heinous acts? Um, leadership on these issues is, is very complicated, but we are in a world where, where terrorism isn't going to go away. Um, by people wishing it away. It's going to take uh, compromise sometimes with people who you would rather not compromise with. Uh, what, we, what we can't do is compromise to the state where terrorists have a role at the table. If they are so keen to be, you know, to, to make the world the way that they want it, mm -hmm. be part of a democratic process and communicate and be part of, of, of that, that process. I feel for, for, for Joss. Um, I, I think that, that terrorism, wherever it happens, is abhorrent. Uh, and I think that world leaders need to work together with Africa and come up with a plan. Plans, I'm, I'm, I'm very much into plans, you know, <laughs> plans that, that, that deal with this in, in a way that's joined up, uh, that has to do with not just dropping bombs and, and sending soldiers into often uh, deadly situations, but a counter-narrative that talks to people from a young age in schools about um, terrorism and, and not getting mm. involved in terrorism and actually ha having a, a life that's ab about productivity and about living well rather than turning to the gun. But I think part of, of you know, the argument that the terrorists would, would put in mm -hmm. has to do with socioeconomics as well. Sure, sure. So there's, it's complicated, but leadership and a plan has got to be part of the way forward. Vernal, thank you very much indeed. Very uh, well-made points there indeed. Uh, we'll hopefully see you again in the next, uh, next hour or so. Thank you very so. much. Thank you.